Hello everyone. Good evening. Hope you all are fine and safe at home. So here we are back with the new session, as promised. So yes, we are back with the new story. But before that, let's quickly revise what we had discussed that day. Yes, we had talked about verb. So what is a verb? A verb is a doing word, and it talks about the action. For example, to run. to feel to study to walk so let's continue with a new story today you know this verb has three friends and these three friends of the verb are the present the past and the future now the present says you know what do i tell you what do i talk about the present says i talk about an action which is going on right now i talk about an action which doesn't change an action which is a part of your daily routine so, and i use the first form of the verb so ready to look at some of the examples yes the first is she runs i study english i feel tired in the morning and the last one priya walks in the park so the verbs used in this form of the tense all of the verbs are in the first form so this tense where we use the first form of the verb it's called as the simple present tense so the next friend of the present tense is the past tense and the past says okay present you tell tell me about what is happening right now I will tell you what has happened in the past. Past? Yes, a time before. Something happened before the present. It may be yesterday or even a longer time before. So he says that she ran. I studied English. I felt tired in the morning, and Priya walked in the park. so did we all notice the change in the form of the verbs yes runs changes to ran yes now this change is an irregular change study changes to studied feel changes to felt walks changes to walked so studied and walked they are regular form of change of verbs whereas feel fear as feel and runs they are the irregular form of verbs now after listening to the present and the past our third character says okay you both are boasting about yourself and you've forgotten about me ha huh? i am the main character here i'll tell you what is going to happen with you in the future both of them get surprised they say you will tell us about our future he says yeah so he says what will you tell us he'll say he said i will tell you about your future i will use first form of the verb and with the first form of the verb i will use will with me so he says i will study english i will feel tired priya will walk in the park she will run so here with these these sentences under the future tense we have used the first form of the verb and the helping verb will so these were the three friends so the present decided to call his brother along yes and you know who is the brother of the present tense he is the present continuous tense so he says that you know present simple present she runs i will say tell you about she is running that is present continuous now continuous means an action which is going on here in this form of the tense with she the subject we have used is the helping verb run this first form of the verb and we added 
I N G. So it became a running. Now, after listening to the you know continuous tense, he decided the past decided to call her sister, and he says the sister is past perfect tense. And he says, you know what, you present continuous, you are telling me about the action which is going on. I am telling you of the action which I have perfected, which I have completed. He said, completed? Yes. She is running. But she had run. Had over here tells us of the action which has been completed. So when we talk of a perfect tense, we use had plus the third form of the verb. Run, run, run. Now listening to both of them, future calls his another friend and the future's friend is future continuous. He says, okay, you both are telling about, you are telling about past perfect, present continuous. I will also tell about future continuous. So, he says, now the action which is started in the present, that is, Priya walks in the garden. Do you know the action has got over in the future or not? No, because Priya is still walking. Priya will be walking. So, in future also she will be walking. So, future continuous tells us of an action which will be going on in the future. So, these were the stories of our three characters with their friends, with their brothers and sisters. Hope you all like the story and very soon you'll fr you'll I'll be sharing with you all the other part, right? The You know, the friends and the brother sisters of these tenses whom we have left, whom could not come today, but they have assured us they'll come very soon. So, yes, don't forget to practice, to read and to converse so that we, again, we we will we study, we speak in English, we had spoken and we will be speaking in English. Okay everyone, bye-bye.